Okay, I just figured I would do a quick video walkthrough for you. Um, for one, this block is not, it's not bad. Uh, I was thinking it was gonna be a next block over, but I mean, obviously the train tracks are right there, but um, there's some nicer houses on this block. That place is nice. There's a couple nice uh, like duplexes right next door. But anyhow, um, just to give you a view. So this lot is elevated and you've got some steps coming up here and the steps are destroyed. I mean like that second one, there's like three inches of flat concrete to step on. So um, from the exterior, uh, at least in the front, the exterior looks fine. Um, the roof looks older, but I don't see any obvious issues with it. Um, looks like the exterior has been painted relatively recently. I mean, within like the last 10 years, probably. Uh, tram is in fairly rough shape. The windows are all single pane, original. The door, I mean, somebody didn't take very much time painting the door. Uh, the stop for the jam, somebody must have broken off. And so they put a, a that's a fence picket, a cedar fence picket. Um, walking in, uh, it's fairly rough. Uh, it, it's kind of stinky. It's kind of a combination of like light feces and light dog smell. <laughs> Not overwhelming, but it, there's definitely a stink. The carpet is in rough shape. It's dirty. It's wrinkled. Um, you can see it's been pulled up on the corners here. Uh, all of the trim is scraped up and the windows are in rough shape. Uh, so as you walk in, I mean, I know you know the layout, but I'm just going to go around. The kitchen is immediately to the left here, and uh, there's a bedroom immediately to the right. So going into this bedroom, obviously this door has seen better days. Um, same carpet in here, and it's pretty, it's just kind of dirty. The walls are dirty, and there's holes and stuff. Um, original windows, same type of stuff. You've got uh, like a built-in closet there that is pretty rough too. I mean, like somebody broke this door and so then they just put some OSB on here. Um, they don't, there's no stops, it doesn't close. And then there's another, I guess this is a bedroom here. It's the only other room up here, but this, it, it's not really a bedroom. I mean, this room is six feet wide. Um, and the only way to get through it is to walk through the bathroom or to walk through this other bedroom. And there's a little built-in closet there, but it's about six by 11 or 12, probably. Um, obviously this plaster has been abused. And I mean, the trim all around here is just, it's just rough and dirty and there's missing pieces and holes. Um, your bathroom vanity, this is... It's about to fall apart. I mean, there's piece chunks of it missing. Um, you can see there's like old water damage here. Um, I'll try to get, you can probably see from the floor there, like there's been a lot of water damage on this floor. I think it's, it might, I think it's laminate, um, but it's all wrinkly and, and coming up over there. And this is like a DIY kind of thing. Uh, Tub, this is probably a cast iron tub, and the surround is just uh, like a, a fiberglass sheet. Um, obviously needs a little bit of love. Uh, and then the toilet, yeah, it's a toilet. And coming through here, um, you can see like drywall and, and trim and everything is missing from the stair rail. Um, to get through this doorway into the bathroom is only about five foot 10, so I have to duck to get through it. And coming through here, the, I mean, I can feel that the floor is uneven in lots of spaces. I know that's not your biggest concern, but um, then this door out to the backyard here in the laundry room, uh, also less than six feet tall for sure. And like this little storage closet here has a quarter inch sheet of plywood for a door. There's no door on this. Um, this tile is not trimmed out and it's not laid very well. Uh, your kitchen obviously needs new flooring and the subfloor here, I don't know if it goes all the way through, but there's press board on top. The kitchen's big. It just does there's nothing here. Um, so original cabinets built in place, they're in pretty rough shape too. Um, 
I don't know how ambitious you want to get. I would, I, this kitchen's totally shut off. I would open that wall up. But anyhow, let's go down to the basement. Um, and just for your note, like there's no drywall in a lot of these spots. This is just plywood. Um, and then that, there's no rail here and there's like at least a foot drop down to this first step. Coming down the stairs, the, you can see there's like drywall missing here. Um, this last step is at least a foot tall. Uh, and then the ceilings down here range. Um, you can kind of tell that it's uneven, but in some spots it's like six foot four. And in some spots it's five foot 11, probably. Um, all like commercial carpet down here. And these doors, uh, they're in bad shape, but they had to be modified to, mit the, to fit these frames. But you can see like the drywall is all pretty rough. The trim is rough. Uh, there's no trim on some of these windows. And I mean, this room would be fine if it were cleaned up. You can see the drywall damage all over the place. This is definitely like a DIY all over the place. It looks like somebody tried to break in or out of here. Put this pipe back in there. And then there's a little closet back there. Um, yeah, I mean, even like this, I have to duck to get around that light fixture. It's relatively low. No, there's not a lot you can do about that. Um, then coming down the hall, uh, there's like a plywood door here where the furnace is. And then another plywood door here. Yeah, water heater. And those look like they're in pretty good shape. You probably know more about those than I do, but they look new. The furnace looks relatively new and the uh, water heater looks relatively new. And then you got your main sewer clean out and just some storage behind the stairs. Uh, you've got your main galvanized supply water shut off there. Um, and then this room, the ceiling in here is about six, four, probably six, five, but you've got your ductwork just sitting on the ceiling here. And I definitely have to walk to get past the ductwork. Um, and then there's lots of like drywall damage and stuff down here as well. And I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why they covered that up. Um, so this room's huge. Obviously it's probably 18 by 20 feet, something like that. I mean, if you wanted to get ambitious, you could reconfigure this down here and, and have three bedrooms pretty easily. Uh, backyard. So, obviously, big backyard, no fence or anything like that. Um, and there must be a, an easement there for uh, the electric. Um, but yeah, I mean, you could do a lot back here too, but it would be expensive. Uh, it'd be great if it had a garage and a patio, something like that, but there's, there's not much going on. There's no grass, it's just pretty much dirt, mud, and holes. So uh, let me see if I can see anything else back here. Not much to speak of. Yeah, there you have it.